Hey, welcome to this portal rambling video. Um, I'm just going to talk about one thing in detail for a really long time and not do any editing. So my thoughts might be a little bit scattered, but we'll see how we go. Um, I'm sure everyone's seen this before, where you hold the cube through the portal and then the portal changes and then, ah, oh, the cube reappears, right? Um, I'm going to be talking about uh, why the entities teleport like this, so uh, why this glitch happens. Um, first time I saw a different use for this outside of O1 was um, Arjun's video, um, where he actually uses it to preserve the cube uh, past the Pizzler, which is really, really cool. Um, and I played around with it a little bit, but I didn't really find anything too useful. But I um, started looking at it again, which is really cool. So um, yeah, normally I keep a lot of this stuff to myself, so um, hopefully um, you'll find this somewhat interesting. I have a lot of ideas. Um, so I'm used to not making videos on this type of stuff. Um, I would normally just show other runners in Discord, so we'll see how we go. Um, Alright, so I had I remember showing Bill that margin video and he actually had a look at the code um, for this and showed me some stuff which I thought was quite interesting. So there's this command here that you can run with SPT um, and that just gives you a little uh, sort of flag in the top corner, right? So the main part is um, if you're holding an object and you're both uh, like not through a portal, which is going to be zero. Um, if I hold it through a portal, it's going to be one. Um, then if I walk through, it's zero again. Right? So that's basically how that works. And so um, if the portal changes for whatever reason, um, it still says it's on the other side of the portal. But then when you walk through it, it's going to change to zero and then teleport it in front of you. So let me show you this, um, not on no one, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to peek over there like this, right? But uh, before the portal lands, I'm going to pick up the cube like this. So it's going to be one. Um, so it looks like this. And you can see the um, the cube just like flies across to me. Right? Um, it can actually get stuck in me like that, which is kind of interesting. Um, right, so if I do it again, but I walk through with it, you can see it instantly snaps. Um, so it's going to be one here. But then while it's flying across, I'm going to do this. And then that's when the teleportation happens, right? When the flag turns to zero, because the game just checks for it, right? Um, so yeah, that's basically what Bill was telling me. Um, another good illustration of this is uh, he found this spot here, right? So um, we can shoot a portal here and grab it. Right? It's going to be, whoops, I didn't grab it. I'm going to move it a bit closer. So I'm going to shoot here and then grab it. Notice that the flag is one and then the game just automatically dropped it there. But also that the cube tried to move in the straight line there, but the wall's in the way. Um, so if I do the same thing again, but I walk through the portal after grabbing it, you can see it teleports. So that's all that sort of stuff. Um, one more interesting thing that uh, Bill mentioned to me, which I had never noticed, and this actually came in handy uh, later um, with the video I recently made, was um, if you try to just hold any entity above your head, you can't like look directly up, like it's gonna stop sort of there, like you can see it goes up, 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 and then it sort of hits some sort of ceiling and stops, right? But um, if you get a floor portal and then you uh, put the cube through it, right, it can go directly up, right? So I'm holding it on the opposite side. But that means when I walk through this now, it's going to like snap uh, downwards, right? Because remember, I can't actually hold this directly above my head, um, which is kind of interesting, right? So when it comes to this uh, Chamber 16 preserve I'm doing, um, it's not a mouse acceleration thing because I use mouse acceleration. Um, you don't have to be like really fast with your flick or anything. It's purely like, um, this is above my head, but when I walk through, it's gonna snap down. Well, I got the, I got the weird camera trunk stuff. Let me show you again. See how it like snaps down like that? Um, so this is purely an angle thing. So if you look too far down, you're gonna get the fizzler. Um, if you look a bit too high, um, you're gonna get the snap, but it's gonna hit it on the other side. Um, and then there's just the right angle where it's always just going to snap on the other side, right? Because it's above your head um, and this is consistent. So it's just about finding that angle, uh, which I'm sure a lot of people will end up working out. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. But I didn't find that immediately. Um, that took me a while to uh, find this setup, but this would be really fast for runs. Um, I remember seeing a video as well of someone else doing this. Um, I can't remember who did it at all. I really wish I remembered so I could include it uh, in the 
other video I made. But um, the idea is you're holding the turret through the portal uh, like this, because when I go through a portal, um, the flag's going to get set to zero, which is when it teleports. So let's see if I can do this. So it looks a bit like this, right? No. <laughs> Alright, try it again. I'm not going to get everything else this guy, but I mean, that's sort of the nature of this video. Alright, cool. Um, so that's another setup you could do, um, which works. So, uh, let's see. Let's see if I can be a little bit more clear about this. Hopefully you sort of get the idea of why this is happening. Um, when it when this flag turns to one, right, the, the game, like, has it on the opposite side of the portal. It's keeping track of that. But the second you walk through it, it's actually just teleporting it directly to where you're looking in front of you. Um, and so in most circumstances, this actually looks seamless, right? Um, you're not actually going to notice anything weird with it. But like, for example, let's say if I put a portal here and here, like I can walk through like this. But what happens if I walk at an angle like this, right? Um, it's going to go through the wall. Uh, let me do this a bit slower. So um, I'm holding this through the portal. But when I walk through, it teleports in front of me. So instead of looking here, I'm going to look at this wall here. So it's on the opposite side. And then, see, I can't look away for too long because then the game's just going to drop it. So that's why I got to sort of do it quick. Um, just notice... Oh well, okay. I actually managed to get through the portal, but... See, the game just automatically drops it. But the idea is, um, at this point here, I'm holding it through the portal. I'm actually on the opposite side. It never came through with me, so that's why it's set to one. But um, I'm just going to step backwards like this, so now we're back on the same side again. And it's going to teleport it in front of me like that. Um, so yeah. Um, and you could do some quick succession, right? I could do this. Whoops. Um, so it's on that side because I look there, but if I want to back, I just look here, right? So yeah, hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> I'm probably over explaining myself now. But, um, I just want it to be clear for the more complicated stuff. Um, so that is what's happening here. It's on the other side, but when I go through this portal, um, that's when it goes back to zero, right? So yeah. Um, because, I mean, it's already gone through the portal. I'm just going okay. through the portal. It's kind of interesting that I'm going through a different portal, and then it's fine with that. I guess... I don't know why that is. Hmm. I'm not too sure. I haven't thought about that, because I've only been testing with some walls. But yeah, that's how that works, um, and that's also how the setup I found works. Um, I'm trying to go back and grab it, dodge the portals. Alright. The turret hitboxes are really weird. Alright, so let's put this here. So the setup I had is um, walk up to it, you do here, you shoot here, and then it's just an angle, so everyone's just gonna have to learn what the angle is. Alright, um, that means you didn't look down far enough, so I just gotta go down a bit far. Um, but now I'm looking too far down, so maybe that? No. Um, so, I guess, unfortunately. Oops. This orange portal speed does. So maybe it should be here. Let's try that. Alright, so um, save, walk through, there we go. Right, and that's gonna work every time at that angle. Right, um, if I go a little bit up, it should fizzle. Right. Um, yeah, and then if I go too far down, it's going to fizzle like that. But the main point is, um, it's through the portal, but when I go through with it, it's going to teleport in front of me. But um, remember, you can't hold objects above your head properly, so that's why you get the little snap. So, uh, what I was originally trying to do was to find a way to just do this here, right? Because ideally what I want is I just want to, like the second I walk through this, I want to be facing that way. Um, but I couldn't find a way to do that quick enough, right, where I'm going like this. Um, right, because unfortunately when you move your mouse a little bit, the object's just going to follow you, so there's no way to sort of do it fast enough while walking through the portal and setting that to zero. Um, so let's, let's go into this map and gun straight something. So this is what Margin showed, right? Oh, we've been going for 10 minutes, okay, cool. We'll get some more interesting stuff uh, soon.
Good place. Uh, so I want to shoot this here. I've never learned how to avoid this fizzler. <laughs> uh, I never even knew it existed for like the longest time, uh, which was kind of interesting. Oh, I'm going to cheat. Turn on no clip. Alright, I'm struggling to hit my binds. Um, also, uh, you may know this, but um, there's a trigger there. If I'm not in that area, the cube will disappear and then respawn. So if you want to bring the cube with you, you need to uh, go in backwards. So you need to go in first and then bring it with you. I don't know why. Anyway, um, also, if I do that, it'll disappear because I'm not in there with it. So, um, I was trying to find other ways to preserve this cube than the way margin showed, so let's do this, shoot here, right? So now it's out of bounds, right? So we're on the same, we're actually on the same side as the portal. It's just that the cube's through the wall. But notice like there's no portal involved, that's why the flag's set to zero, right? It's like holding it like this, but I'm just holding it through the wall. Um, so then when I walk through like this, now it's set to 1, right? um, I can look around, but the game's going to drop it right? because I'm nowhere near the cube. Um, so we can grab it like this, but now I get to freely move my mouse this way to reorientate myself. So when I come through like this, um, it's going to set the flag back to zero and just teleport the cube to where I'm looking. So. That's how this Once works, again, right? Which is really nice. So that's what I wanted for the turret on 16, but um, I would like it so... And now this is going to be a bit weird to show here. Um, I'll show you why. So if I try to do it this way, the cube doesn't come, but it's because of this trigger. So we are going to go to 13, because then I can actually show what I want to show. Um, we do... Okay. Alright, cool. Um, and then I gotta put this in the wall somehow. Um, <laughs> Alright, let's see. I think I do this here, right? And then I just follow the wall. It's a little bit unplanned, but I think it'll work. Alright, cool. Save. Follow the wall. Oh, I don't have a portal there. I thought I had a blue portal there. Whoops. Um, okay, we're gonna have to re just do that entirely. I think that'll work. Yeah, cool. Um, so now I have the loophole there, so we can follow this all the way here. Um, so notice, I can make this teleport back in bounds looking anywhere. Oh, the hard camera. Okay, cool. Um, so, see, it's on the same side. I walk through, it's on the different side. And then when I walk back through, it's zero. Um, but depending on which way I'm looking, right, is going to depend on where it teleports. So um, that's just teleporting back out of bounds, right? Because uh, I'm looking at the wall, it's just going to teleport the cube behind the portal. But if I look this way, it's going to teleport it in front of me. Um, if I look all the way around, so like 180, that's going to teleport in front of me. Um, yeah, so that's cool. Um, <laughs> I can sense that I've been repeating myself a lot. So it would be nice if I could just do that straight away, but you can't, um, which is a bit sad. Um, there's also a quicker way to do this, um, which I showed on 16. Let's go back to 16. Um, but unfortunately, it abuses putting the item out of bounds, right? The appropriate um, chamber for this testing so sequence is currently how does this work? Try to remember. So, if I walk through with the item like this, right, that's all cool. But I'm going to get it stuck on the wall like this, so it's on the opposite side for a bit. And then walk back. But when I walk back, I'm going to look here, so the object's going to teleport behind the wall. Right, so the object teleports behind the wall. There it is. Right. And now we're on the same side, which is awesome. Um, and then I can go through like this, reorientate myself whichever way I want to look. So when I go this, like back through the portal, it's going to teleport to where I'm looking. Um, so that's the main goal, because unfortunately if I don't put it out of bounds, like let's say we're just holding it like this, and then I want to reorientate myself so I'm looking like this, the cube's just, ah uh, well, it's not cube, the turret. The turret's just going to follow which, whatever mouse movement I'm doing, so I need to like block it with some sort of wall or something, right? But there's nothing there to block it with. Um, you know what? I didn't think about this. This wasn't planned. Let's, um, let's do something here. I'm going to spawn a few cubes. Right, I want another four. Alright, I just... another four. And then I want four a lot. Alright, let's put on no target as well. Just, 
Being shot is not really <laughs> useful right now. Alright, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do... I think it's on my 8 kind. Yeah, so in, uh, I want to ENT, fire, picker, disable... Oh, let me show you what I'm typing. Um, typing this. So, um, disable motion. Alright, cool. Um, so now that cube won't move. Alright, so all this stuff won't move. So if I knock this in here, it's not gonna do bad stuff. Um, and then also I can't pick this up, so that's basically what's happening there. Um, also, I realize you can see what I was doing there. But, um, see, this can't knock it down and I can't pick it up. Uh, so that's what that command does. Very cool. Uh, let's just get this turret. Right, so I mean, if there's a wall in the way like this one, right, um, I can reorientate myself when I'm through the portal like this, right? And then come back through. Let's see if I can do this better. Okay, let's just do it with the cube. I think this would work. No. No, dude. Alright. So we're on opposite sides. And then I dropped it, so I'm gonna do it faster. This should work, I believe. Okay. Why is that not working? Oh. <laughs> this is scuffed. Oh, you see it teleported. Um but I'm not close enough. Alright, so I'm gonna do this. Hmm, I'm dropping the cube before I want to. Oh, that was so close. Alright, so ideally that's what I'd like, right? But the problem is, is like, the cube just moves too fast if something's not obstructing it. So, that's sort of the problem. I'll show you how to solve that in a second. I'm, I'm trying to build a narrative from rambling so much. Okay, you can see that actually worked, but then I looked a bit too low. Um, I think that illustrates the point well enough. So, um, how do you get around this? Well, I put this like this, right? So it's actually out of bounds. Come on, go out of bounds. It's a weird angle for it. I think I actually got a look at the Kind of weird. Alright, so now uh, we're both on the same side, which is great. Um, and then I can go back through the portal. But now I get to move my mouse freely because the object is essentially here. So it doesn't matter where I look, it's just gonna like sort well of done, <laughs> rotate weirdly here. Once again um, yeah, alright, so do that. It's on the other side of the wall, do this. I look here, and then I'm gonna... I, the game dropped it, because I'm trying to explain well it a little slow. Um, so I'm gonna reorientate myself here and look there, and then I'll go through, which is really cool. Alright, so here, there, the and then... Ah, let's with the cube. For the right. and wishes so the here, there, uh, here. Right. Well um, although I'm just the hitting the fizzle, which kind of sucks. I want to do this again until I get up. Unfortunately, the object goes oob there, so that's not very useful. But there's a way to actually make this inbounds, because what is the thing that we actually want here? We want um, some sort of separation. I used a wall before. Um, like a wall of cubes. Um, I'm using this wall out of bounds, but I could use something else. I could like use this wall here. Um, that's like, how would you use that wall? So let me show you. So you can do something interesting like this, right? Um, ah. No, oh, stop. Um, I wonder if I can do this in real time. I don't think I've done this in real time. All right, so remember, um, Trying to get this set up in a certain way. There we go. Um, if I shoot here and peek and grab this, all right, let's try it again. All right, I'm just trying to get like close enough. So do this, right? The object is going to go from there to here in a straight line. But um, during that straight line, um, I can turn around and stuff. It's not going to matter. Like I can do you know, go ahead and go through. Um, so grab. No. I'm not better set up here. Are you still there? Alright, so shoot here. Grab. Right, so I can turn and stuff. And notice that came through the portal with me because it's gone from here and then it went through the portal. But um, it doesn't deviate off that straight line. So while it's traveling there, that's actually enough time for me to flick my mouse around. Right? Because remember, the problem I was having is that. Oops. <laughs> problem I'm having is I want to. Um, 
I want to flick like this, but the turret's like in my hands, so it's going to follow me like really closely. So let me just slow this down so I can show you. So I'm going to shoot, grab, reorientate myself, walk this way, and you can see the turrets uh, teleported on the other side. Now the hitbox is a bit funky, so I accidentally hit it from the side, but um, yeah, that will actually work. Um, and that's the inbounds thing. Um, obviously, there's better setups. Um, I was showing you earlier, there. but this is a thing you can do. All right. Oh, there we got it. Awesome. Um, so that would work anyway, right? Cool. Uh, let me show you some stuff. I was trying to do like ages ago when I saw well, Martin's video. So like, what we're here. You're doing quite well. This goes off. Oh That's no. Fine. I did say this would be a very sporadic video, well. like scattered. I keep like repeating myself over and over again because I, I feel like I'm not explaining this so well. We um, Alright, so I mean, wouldn't it be great if we could do the same he thing here? Um, so, what I would like to do. Oh my god, let's just want to keep. Um, so, I want to. Not fall through the portal like that. Okay, I'm using my clip. So, and okay, we'll put this command back on. Alright, so I want to be holding the object on the other side of the portal like this. Alright, and then, so I'm holding it, but then when I go through, it's going to teleport in front of me. But before I go through, I want to be looking this way. Right, so when I go back through the portal, um, it will go through the fissile. But unfortunately, it's a uh, roof portal, so I can't really like go back through it. Um, kind of can, but um, it's not really. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to get into it. It's going to be way too hard here because the thing is, you want to be grabbing it. And anyway, point is, um, how would you get this through? Um, well, there's this crazy strat. Um, when the camera's here, you could land on the camera, boost through here, right? So through the ceiling portal. But while you're boosting here, you you grab the thing, you grab the thing, and then you look like that uh, when you go through, and then it'll teleport. But uh, it's it's not really going to work. Um, it just is happening. Um, I tried margins thing, right, where you. Um, Put this out of bounds. Oops. Ooh. All right, cool. Um, but the problem is, like, okay, so I can just like trace the wall here, right? So let's just hug it. But I need the uh, portal on this side. Um, so I thought, um, but the other thing is I need to come back through the portal, right? So going through the portal is like not enough. Um, so let's do this. All right, so I can go through it. Ah, oh, where is that, dude? Um, yeah, I just thought this wouldn't work because I thought I had to have the portal here. Right? And the other problem is as well, if I go through like that, um, there's no way I can go back through the orange portal to trigger the teleport for the item. So that was a bit annoying, but um, I was bringing this up to Uncrafty because he's been trying to find a similar uh, thing. He, he wants to get past this fizzler for like um, jumpless strats, right? Uh, inbound jumpless strats. But he showed me um, that, well, he didn't show me that. He showed me this, right? When you do that jump like this, that actually... Um, Puts you on the other side of the portal, which I, I never actually thought it did. So let me show you what I'm doing here. Let's do clear. Um, so if you do portal debug uh, touch, right. so that's on now. Um, I'm going to try to do the bounce. Okay, I did bounce. Cool. Um, oh, you didn't see it. Doesn't matter. I did the bounce. Uh, you're just going to have to believe me, right? Um, portal one, I'll teleporting player because it's not similar. Well, that's not very useful. Let me show you what the hell is happening right so nothing's in the console right now um i'm gonna walk through it okay cool i walked through it i know why it's not working i didn't okay 
Let me start again. <laughs> Bad explanations, but it's okay. Do this command and then do developer one. Boom. All right. Now this is what we want. Um, so I'm going to clear the console so nothing's in it. When I walk through it, and then we have a look at the console, um, it tells you um, what portals you're touching. So portal one, I think, is the blue one. Portal two is the um, <laughs> the game. No, it's the orange portal. But it says a uh, portal one teleporting player. So it means I walked through the blue one. Right. Uh, similarly, let's uh, clear this, and then um, I'm just gonna no clip through the orange one. Wait, did I go through it? No, I didn't go through it. Let's try it again. Okay, I went through the orange one. You can see here it says I've teleported through the orange one. Right? So um, what I'm going to do now is we'll clear this again. I'm going to do this and then I'm going to get that. Right? And then if we read the console here, um, I've gone through the blue portal and I've gone through the orange portal, right? So that means um, since I've gone through the blue and then I come back out the orange, that's enough for me to do this teleportation glitch, which is actually really useful, right? So basically all I would need to do here is have some sort of item and then um, be through the orange portal here with the bounce, right? And then look this way and the bounce will bring me back up and I'm looking through I feels like I just realized you can't see any fuck damn. <laughs> um, what was I saying? So it'll go through the blue portal, but I can hold an item and the bounce is gonna put me back through the orange portal. So I wanna look this way and then it'll go through, right? So trying to find ways to do that. Um, if you've seen my video already, you worked out what I did. So what I worked out is um, I was trying to delay it doing this sort of garbage, right? Um, but the problem is you would need to peek, right? So you remember the gar uh, let's just upgrade the portal again so I can demonstrate this a bit better. So I was going to do something like this, right? Where, um, right, you see how it's flying towards me. I could look somewhere else <laughs> during that time. Uh, that's what I was going to abuse because then I guess you could, let's see if I can get this. Oh, I got so disoriented. Okay, here. And then if I shot through, wait, I need to work this out. Because I'm talking about the tongue header, I've got to look left. Okay, so where's the radio? Radio's here. Alright, so yeah, I was going to use that flying trick to give me time to turn my mouse, right? Um, which I'm pretty sure would work. This is how a lot of my glitch hunting goes, you know, I just, I just try things that come to mind. Until it works. Ah! Oh. I know that would work. I might really want to get it. Ah. Uh, um, I think I was looking at the ground. I wasn't completely looking the right way. Oh, that's so close. Uh, I shouldn't panic so much. I have time because the, the radio is flying over. Like, it's flying in a straight line. Nope. Try it one more time. Nine, no. <laughs> it's not going to be one more time. It's going to be until I get it. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, right. The, the important part is um, when you do this bounce, I'm going through the portal, which would do a teleport. So let's reload uh, this. Hmm. Hmm. Let's just redo this. Oh, I could I could very quick. Oh one. All right. Oh no, I can't. Damn it. Welcome to test chamber four. You're doing quite well. All right. So um, what are we gonna do? We're gonna spawn a cube. Alright, so I just want to prove the concept of the fact that if I go through it, the, um, the teleport with that entity will trigger. So, I can finally get this margin trick to work, which is really nice. So, um, I'll just follow the wall like this, right? Then when you get here, I'm just going to make a save. I'm going to go through the portal like this, but I'm going to spam crouch, because um, that will bounce me back. 
right? And I'm going to be looking this way because uh, if I'm spamming crouch, when it puts me back through here, I'm going to be looking that way and then it will get teleported in front of me, which will be really cool, right? And that will actually, yeah, there we go, just got it. Um, so let me just slow it down to clear this, right? Um, when I, oh, can get it. When I do, no. Ah, I won't. <laughs> I always struggle to do things slowly. I can do things full speed. Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. I'm just going to do it and then show you what the console looks like. Okay, that's cool. So, uh, notice I went through the blue, then I went through the orange. That's the main part. Um, so that's why that's working. And then I'm sure if you look at the flag as well, it'll go one and zero, um, which I can't look at because um, I'm trying to do the trick, but I'm sure it is doing that. And if it's not, let me know, because that'd be weird. Um, why didn't that work? I must have dropped it. Yeah, I dropped that. I should probably just look backwards and then look like that. Uh, maybe. Do I have this bound to this? I do. Cool. Oh, I didn't get that. <laughs> Sorry. Do do do. There we go. Got it. So yeah, that's just a timing thing. You just hold. I'm just spamming crouch there basically uh, while looking at the fizzler. So you, yeah you can do the margin trick here with um, I guess you could do it with the camera. If you get the camera out of balance. Uh, I've only actually tried it with the cube. Hmm. Anyway um, end goal is you want to do it with the camera right? So um, basically what I ended up coming up with is that we need to introduce some sort of wall but you can just use the player as a wall. So, yeah. So put this here, and then um, let me just go get the command. Um, oh, I might actually remember the command. I think it's int bbox player. Yeah, yeah. So we can see this is like my collision box. I guess I can do this one. This one. Oh, that's really weird. But um, point is. You can see this will sort of go. Ah, I find the radio demonstrates it better. Where is the radio? Okay. Um, here, you can see these are sort of colliding, right? If I keep looking like this, eventually it's going to go around. So that's why you get like this weird sort of shadow. You can kind of make a curve on the edge there. Is it ever going to do it? Oh, it happens really fast. Yeah, anyway, so that's what's happening there, um, and I'm using myself as a wall, because it wants to, like like this way, it's just following my mouse movement, but if I go this way, it's not gonna it's not gonna go that way if I'm going this way, it wants to follow me, and so it, act, it will actually push me as well. Um, I think you can kind of see it pushing me, kind of, kind of not really. I think if I turn this on, um, and then you want to look at the first number, right, so um, yeah, you can see it sort of pushed me there. Uh, which is somewhat problematic because sometimes when I'm trying to do this trick, it will push me past the portal, which is upsetting. Um, anyway, let me turn off the show calls because we're interested in the other numbers. And then reload. All right, so the idea is um, I'm just lining this up with the wall here. Yep. Yeah. And then I'm standing here. All right, and then I'm just looking like this. All right, so I look like this um, and notice that maybe I have like half a second before it actually tries to go the other way around me. Um, there, it's just pushing me forwards. But during that time, I'm just gonna spam duck through the portal, right? Okay, so um, fortunately, it went the wrong way. Okay, not the wrong way again. Maybe I'll stand back a bit. Okay. Oh no! Okay, camera pushed me past the portal, so I never actually get to duck in it. Right, let's do it again. No. Okay, I never took the duck. It went the other way. It pushed me. 
Um, I just messed up the docking strap there, and I messed it up again. There we go, got it. Alright, and so that's how that works. Which is really nice, so that's basically where I'm up to with this glitch. Um, I need to show you it going through walls, that'd be interesting. Um, this here is surprisingly consistent. Um, it's just an angle thing. Um, like my ABHs are not consistent. Um, let me turn this on. Uh, look at like angle 30 and jump while holding W. And this will too much always work, except when I'm trying to demonstrate it. Um, oh well. It, you look like roughly here, and just jump. There we go. Cool. Um, I'm not sure if this would be faster for no SLA in bounce run. But I definitely know it will um, be useful for jumpers, right? Although you'll have to work out, like I'm jumping there, obviously. I'm doing a lot of jumps here. Um, you have to find some sort of boost right, that you could do here. I don't actually, I've never messed around with jumper stuff. But I know that you can hold crouch here when you're exiting the elevator because this part here is higher up, like the floor is lower, so you can actually hop on top of the camera like this. Uh, which could slide you across the whole thing. I'm not getting it too well right now. Give it to me. <laughs> I'm just gonna reload. Alright. Ah, oh, I know it's not even that hard. Come on. There we go. Right, and then you can probably do some sort of launch up. Um, well, I'm mentioning that. Let's look at this one here. Um, let's get that on screen. Uh, Taru? I don't know how to say his name either. Turns out I don't know how to say anyone's name. Um, this guy, really cool guy. Um, the moon jump, right? Um, it's very useful. Um, so ideally, what I'd like to do on this one is to get some sort of moon jump set up here, right? Um, and all my garbage hops, right? So get the moon jump to go up there. Um, I haven't found a good angle for this shirt. Um, I think the best one I found was... It, this doesn't work by the way, but it's the best I could get. The red light's on the ground and then I think you hold it like this? Maybe like this? Let's try this. Right, and sort of bounces me, but it's it's not high enough, which makes me sad. Yeah, right. Like it looks so promising, um, and then it just doesn't work. It's not high enough for that ending. Um, I wish there was some angle to do this. Hmm. But um, yeah, I mean. A definitely consistent strat that unfortunately there yeah, unfortunately it doesn't seem like it's gonna be faster for inbound snow SLA is to get the camera oriented like this, which is how it's gonna be when you preserve it, right? Um, you can go over here like this to this wall and then you can, um, do the jump. The so hold w jump, and you can straight like this, you can straight into the bad bit, you can actually continue your hops from there, um, which is kind of nice. Um, let's see if I can do it again. Yeah. Whoa, I wasn't ready for the camera to still be with me. Do you find camera physics a bit janky? But I'm I, I'm sure if you practice this, uh, it would be consistent. The thing is, I've been doing this for many hours today, so it's sort of getting a bit rusty on that. Um, I would like to find an angle here. Um, I got the launch once where you do something like that, and um, that would definitely be faster if we could find something like that. Um, definitely an improvement to jump list. I was trying to consider this for inbounds, like with save glitch, because you do a rubby of this camera. I haven't found anything like that yet. Um, and definitely edge glitch off of this as well, but rubby would be so much quicker. Um, because this portal shot is really precise, and I had it, there it is. And then we can stand there, although 
I am not getting that. Um, what else did I want to bring up? Let's go on to 16. This will be the last thing. Um, Puddle bump. Alright, um, yeah, you can do it here. Right? This is probably like the best example. I don't know why I didn't show this one. Yeah. There we go. Let's see how straight plus zero. This one. Alright, so one, zero, zero. Yeah, you can do this with a lot of stuff. I think Bill showed me you can do it here as well. So if I look here. Oh, go through, please. There we go. And then we drop this here. And then we click through the wall. And it's the turret! Because these walls are pretty close together. How cool is that? Um, yeah, I'm going to end it there. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know how this was, because obviously you're hearing this now to watch most of it, or maybe you skipped to the part I timestamped in the other video. But um, yeah, tell me what you thought about this. Um, I might do more in the future. I don't know. I'll see. I talked for 41 minutes. Wow. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> Bye.